Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about Neo Fusion Vizalis banner which gonna come on this week. So let's start from Vizalis. So C is Chaos Wave Awakened Chainer like other mages. C specialized on wind and ice element. So wind is quite rare. So she gonna be useful, especially on Dark Vision. She also able to chain with Bolting Strike, but I don't think that will be useful because the damage modifier is kind of low, only about 40 times. So with triple cast, it doesn't deal any amazing damage unless I miss something like damage modifier boost or something like that okay but yes this is only preview and another thing she is good is she has demon and fairy killer so will be useful and yes she is a true dual build mage and has 200% chain damage modifier so yes she is probably gonna be powerful and she is also a strong limit burst finisher because her limit I mean, her breath she form has one hit limit burst, but let me tell you that she is probably weaker than Ibarra because her breath she limit burst based damage is only at 110 times damage. Again, this is simply my calculation, okay, based on damage modifier. So I don't calculate something like chain damage modifier chain damage modifier and other things okay so i could be wrong here but in terms of damage modifier ibarra is much better because remember ibarra has ignore 50 percent spirit at amazing limit burst damage boost okay so i think ibarra is probably better even when not really okay on and remember, even when she is more powerful than Ibarra, remember that we gonna get Neo Fission Terror. I believe you have heard about her hype, okay? She is the next big jump in terms of damage in Neo Fission Age. So again, I don't see any reason for you to get Fizzleish right now. Especially when we gonna get Christmas banner soon. And yes, based on leak, they say we're gonna get Felix and Kristen. Okay, both are mage and hybrid characters. So I believe they are gonna be more powerful than her, I guess. But yeah, not sure. But again, remember, we will get Christmas soon. And another thing I don't like about Fizzleist is her weapon selection. She equips gun, spear, and dagger. Those are not good weapon for magic stats. Again, it, it is possible to get nice magic stats through those weapons because some of those weapons have nice magic, but again, they are not the main for magic. I hope you understand what I want to tell you here. Okay, but yes, that's all for Faceless. Now let's take a look on Neo Fission Awakening. First, Sacred Shield Charlotte. So she is an AoE magic tank. So yes, she gonna be useful on this Neo Fission Age because of better stats. But yes, if you have followed me, then I believe you already have Facey. And compared to Facey, I can say that Sacred Shield Charlotte is pale in comparison. Okay, sure, she is not bad. She specialized on tanking Demon and Reaper. If you fight those enemies, then I can say Sacred Shield Charlotte may be better than Facey because she has like AoE magic mitigation for those attack type. Remember that you can stack the magic mitigation against certain species with general magic mitigation. So that will improve your survivability by a lot. So that's when Sacred Shield Charlotte is good. But against general enemies, I can say Facey kills her. And Sacred Shield Charlotte can chain with Bolting Strike, but it is only double cast, so it is not that important, I guess. She has 75% damage mitigation for herself for 3 turns, but the bad news is her breath she form only lasts for 2 turns. And you need to wait for 6 turns before able to back into Brassy form. So 
those 75% damage mitigation buff won't be spammable. Okay, and yes, the good thing about another good thing about Sacred Steel Charlotte is she has amazing magic mitigation buff. She has 80% on normal form. It is a skill from seven stars form. And on prep she form, she has 80 to 90% magic mitigation. So 80% comes from her limit burst on prep she form and 90% from her grandis ability. So I can say quite amazing if you fight against magic damage dealer and you want to, you can defeat the battle in short turn. Okay, that why that means you only need to spam this 90% magic mitigation and you are gonna be safe. Okay, so that's for Sacred Shield Charlotte. Definitely good character, but not that important if you already have AC. Now let's take a look on the last Neo Vision Awakening, Lotus Mage Fina. So really, guys, I really cannot value her because she's kind of bad okay I must say she's bad but she has some good things on her kids the first thing is she can cure zombie so yes she is the only healer who able to cure zombie at this point of the game nice right and she also able to give all elemental resist 90% boost Insane, right? 90% on all elemental resist. Nice. And the best part, she can remove all debuffs from allies. That mean like, uh, like, imperial, etc. She can remove that. And also dispel enemies buff at the same time. How's that not amazing? Pretty good, right? Yes, they are insane and good. She also able to heal really good with all elements to see stop and charm. So why I said she is kinda bad? Because most of those things are only accessible on her breath she form. Her breath she form only lasts for one turn. Mm -hmm. And you need to wait for five turns. Wow. So her breath she form is basically a cooldown ability every five turns. And then you need to choose what you want to do. You only pick one, okay. Cure zombie, 90% all elemental resist, or remove all debuffs and buffs from enemies. After that, go back to normal form and on normal form, nothing special really, just a healer. So really guys, I must say this is bad. But again, good at the same time because she's the only one who can cure zombie. So I'm not sure whether zombie is really dangerous on future trial or whatever. But unless you really need to cure that zombie, I don't think you need her. For all elemental resist, remember we have Ignis. Yes, I know Ignis is only 7 stars, but remember he can buff 80% on all elemental. And you don't need to wait for 5 turns, you only need to use one setup ability, and then you can maintain the 80% on all elemental resist buff easily. But for Fina, 90% on all elemental resist only lasts for 3 turns if I'm not mistaken. That means you have 2 turns without 90% on all elemental resist. So, oh, really guys, I don't like her. Unless of course on Japan there is a trial where zombie is really important. Then in that case, please leave it on the comment, tell me because at this point of the game on the global, I don't think C is really that needed. Okay? So that's for Neo Vision Awakening. Now let's take a look on five stars characters. So Lawrence is a tank. Unique thing about him is he can tank physical and magic attack. Not at the same time, of course. Okay, on the same turn, I mean, because you can only use one cover. But yes, if you need to switch between AoE physical, magic, and. AoE physical or AoE magic 
cover then he is the guy and yes what I like about him is his trust mastery word and STMR her trust mastery word it is good win and earth resist 30% so this will be useful on elemental tetris it also gives you 40% and 20% defense so this is useful if you equip light shield good but maybe not that amazing but the amazing thing is his STMR wow this is insane 20% physical evasion 30% provoke wow okay usually you need physical efficient on provoker so this one is insane guys okay so this is a combination uh, of combination of one of the hardest stats to increase on this game actually physical efficient is not that hard but wow 30% provoke it is huge Okay, so you can easily create 100% Provoker using this STMR if they able to equip Light Shield, of course. But most thing able to equip Light Shield, so yes, do that. Really amazing. And yes, unlike previous 5 stars, I can say that he still has some use for uh, Neo Vision Edge because as long as you able to gear him into... 100% physical evasion his 40% physical or magic mitigation is gonna still is gonna be useful for your party even on today because the general number for physical or magic are 30% so 40% above average pretty good okay one of the good five stars characters which released recently Okay, so that's all for Lawrence. Now, the final question, should you summon? Yes, you should summon if you are a big fan of Neo Vision Vistalis. Okay, she's quite funny in the story, so maybe you like her? Then get her. And of course, if you collecting CG characters, limit burst, then of course you don't want to miss her because she is CG characters. Okay, and yes, that's the reason if you also need like win Chaos of Awakened Chainer, then she is the girl. And yes, if you afraid of zombie stats, let's say you know that on Japan we're gonna need this some zombie cure, then yes, go ahead, try to get that Lotus Mage Fina. Okay, and yes, if you miss Facey before, if you have some Sacred Soul Charlotte then of course I will totally recommend you to get Sacred Soul Charlotte okay because even when she is not as good as Facey Neo Vision is still Neo Vision she will be better than other AoE magic tank because of her higher stats okay but now don't summon if like I said before Neo Vision Vesalis is probably already power creep even before her release correct me if i'm wrong okay i only calculate this based on the breath shift limit burst damage modifier so yes i can be very wrong here but again even if let's say she is more powerful than ibarra still like i said it's probably better to wait for neo vision terra I can say that Final Fantasy VI banner is better because we also have Lock Neo Vision where he able to break 90% attacks and magic stats. Okay, so another jump on breaks. And another reason is Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. So this is probably wrong too, but I believe that on Christmas we're gonna get Halloween treatment, 30% rainbow red. So maybe it's better to save our lapis for Christmas exclusive or for that 30% rainbow red. Okay, that's my reason. And for Lotus Mage Vina, I can say that she is kind of niche healer. So, really, guys, I really cannot say she is bad or good because of that zombie thing. 
It is basically the thing that makes her stand out. So if you really need it, then she is good. But I don't think you will need it. So meh, I think. And Sacred Seal Charlotte, if you have followed my advice from before, then of course you probably already have Facey. In that case, why do you need Sacred Seal Charlotte? You don't, right? So yes. My conclusion, please say your lapis. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Perfect views, guys. Bye bye, guys.